Hey everybody, this is Baird. I'm glad to have you here today. It's the beginning of the year. In fact, it's two weeks into the year right now. And what's everybody doing? I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be frank with you. I'm going to be straight with you. Most people will try to sugarcoat it. I'm not doing that. What you're probably doing right now is thinking about quitting your resolutions. In fact, you may have already quit. Maybe you decided to lose weight this year. Maybe you decided to finally get your finances in order. Maybe you decided to change the way you structure disciplining your children. Maybe you decided to take a course. Maybe you decided to start a new business. Maybe you decided to learn some new language. Who knows what it is, but whatever you decided, you're most likely either thinking about stopping now, you're, you, maybe you slowed down your efforts, or you've quit altogether because we're already two weeks into the new year, and that's what everyone does at the beginning of January. We make these crazy things we call resolutions, and then by the time we get to February, we've forgotten all about it. Well, I'm going to help you to keep them. I'm going to show you why you're quitting them so you can fix it and never quit them again. How about that? That's a great thing. That's what we're going to do today. So stay tuned right now. Don't go away. Don't click stop. Don't click pause. Stay right here. Don't quit. Whatever you do, don't quit. Keep moving forward. If you want to cross the finish line in the race, you've got to stay in the race. You never win any game when you are still on the sidelines. You've got to stay in the game. If you're not in the game, let's get in the game. If you haven't even made a resolution yet, you can do that today. In fact, I'm going to show you the best way to do that today. So first of all, let's talk about that word resolutions. Resolutions. First of all, I believe resolutions don't work. You should never make a resolution. Wait a second, Bears, you just said resolutions. You told me to make a resolution. I told you I'm going to show you how to keep them. And one of the best ways to keep a resolution is to never make one to begin with. Here's why. See, resolutions are something that everybody does at the beginning of the year. We all make them, and we make them so cavalierly, we talk to each other, hey, what's your resolution for the new year? What's your resolution for the new year? We tell each other what it is, and that's about all we do about it. Some people never even get started. What's the reason for it? Because of the word. The word resolution is used so much today that it's lost meaning. It's lost any guts to it. It's lost any oomph behind it. We talk about it in such a normal, cavalier way that it's lost all of its meaning. Sure, it's got a real definition in the dictionary, but inside our heart, inside our mind, it's lost all meaning. So if it's okay with everyone else to quit their resolution, then it's okay for me to quit my resolution. It's normal, it's average, it's okay. I feel comfortable doing that. You see, our subconscious likes to keep us comfortable, and if we quit our resolution, that's okay, because everyone else has done it too. So the first thing you want to do this year is resolve to never use the res word resolution ever again. Get rid of this word. This word is terrible. It's awful. It's, it's going to ruin you. Don't use resolutions. Now, what most people do is they do this. Instead of a resolution, they'll set goals. Goals are awesome. Goals are amazing. You can set goals. But if you set goals, you've got to make sure you've got a plan. You've got a strategy to achieve those goals. You've got to know exactly what your real goal is. A lot of people say, I want to have, I have a goal to make X amount of dollars in 2018. Well, guess what? That's not your real goal. Your real goal is the activity you need to take in order to make that money and to have what you really want to have after that. The money is a means to an end. The activity is a way to get to that. So set your goals and write them down. You need hard written goals that you are looking at every single day. Tape them to your steering wheel in your car. Tape them to the mirror in your, in your bathroom. When you wake up in the morning, you should read them. When you go to bed at night, you should read them. Goals are very important, and the most important thing you need with a goal is a strategy to achieve them. You need to find out who you need to meet. You need to find out what else you need to learn. You need to find out what else you need to do in order to achieve your goals. And most people set goals that are far too low. My friend Les Brown says, if you aim at the stars and hit the moon, it's better than aiming at the ground and hitting it. And he's so right. People don't set lofty goals because they're afraid they're going to miss them and that they'll be seen as a failure. But if you aim here and you hit here, you're a success. You've done awesome. You've done amazing because most people aim at the ground and they hit it every single time. I know I'm getting too excited, but this is a, this is a topic that's near and dear to my heart. So goals, write them down. Get them written on paper and get a strategy written and execute every single day. Know what you need to do each and every day of the year in order to achieve the goal you want to achieve by the end of this year. By the end of 2018, you can be a superstar. Yes, you. 
The last thing. Oh, I'm losing my breath. I'm so excited. I'm so pumped up to give this to you. I'm losing my breath. The last thing is I want you to take the word goal and all of the plans you, and things that you wrote down for your goals, I want you to keep them, but I want you to rename your goal your promise. That word promise has more meaning to us than goal or resolution. You see, the word goal is a great word. It's a great word. We all have goals, and most people who talk about goals are more likely to achieve them. But a promise is different. A promise, when you make a promise to your child, when you make a promise to your friend, or a promise to a spouse, or a promise to a coworker, or a promise to a boss, we are much more likely to keep that promise and follow through all the way because that word promise means much more to us. You see, our words have power. Our words are extremely powerful, and this word here has lost its power. This word has more power. The word promise has exponential power. So take your goals and make them promises. So tomorrow morning, after you've written your, your goals today and executed a plan to do to achieve those goals, what I want you to do tomorrow morning when you wake up is take your goals and read them out loud in this fashion, in the present tense, not I'm going to, because as we know, tomorrow never gets here, but in the present tense, I am, and you're going to read them, I am, or I promise that today, I am, not I will, I am, I will is future, I am is present, I promise that today, I am, and then at night, go to bed, I promise on Tuesday, I am. See, you see, Tuesday, yes, it's the future, but it gets there. It's a solid date. It's not a tomorrow. A tomorrow is understood, understood by our subconscious as future. Because when you get to tomorrow, what's that? That's today, right? Tomorrow's the next day. It understands that tomorrow is constantly in the future. But Tuesday has an exact date. Wednesday has an exact day of the week. You can even say the date if you want. I promise on January 14th, 2018, I am, and that is a solid thing, that's a definite date, and you are willing it into action. Forget about resolutions. Write down your goals and change the word goal to promises, and you will be successful in 2018 if you are diligent and take action each and every day. Go for it. You deserve it.